In this bulletin, no jabs, no jobs, says PM. COVID deaths continue to increase. And hospital executive acquitted. Good afternoon. Jabs will now be compulsory for all employees in the private and public sectors. Fiji is now amongst a handful of countries that have taken the oath of no jab, no job. Prime Minister Vorengen Bainimarama has made it clear that under the Fijian constitution, guidelines can be issued by the government to which all civil servants must adhere. The Prime Minister stresses that civil servants who have not received their first dose of the vaccine must go on leave from next Monday and cannot return to work until they have received their first dose of the vaccine. Marama says all civil servants yet to get their first jab have until August 15th, after which they can go on to work so long as they go on to get fully vaccinated by November 1st, 2021. And those who refuse to adhere will be dismissed from work. Marama says in accordance with the Health and Safety Act, Work Act, government is also requiring all employers and employees in the private sector and statutory bodies to receive at least one dose of the vaccine by 1st August 2021. We are asking that all employers and employees in Fiji, including civil servants, be vaccinated as a condition of the employment. From the view of your government, asking civil servants to be vaccinated falls well in line with the duty of care we owe you and every Fijian. Fiji has recorded six more COVID-19 deaths since yesterday. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says five of the patients who died were not vaccinated, while one received only the first jab of the vaccine. The Permanent Secretary for Health says there have now been 48 deaths due to COVID-19 in Fiji, with 46 of these deaths during the outbreak that started in April this year. Dr. Fong adds that Fiji has also recorded 19 COVID-19 positive patients who died from the serious medical condition that they had before they contracted COVID-19. New penalties and on-the-spot fines will be enforced next week. This is because there is a continuous breach of health and curfew orders. Prime Minister Vorengi Marama says that police and designated staff of Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Tourism and Transport will be given powers to enforce these new penalties. Fines ranges from $20 for individuals to $4,000 for businesses. We hope these fines serve as a deterrence. We don't want to lock people up and we don't want your money. We want you to follow the rules. This is a matter of saving lives. Executive Director of Oceania Hospital PT Limited, Parmesh Sharma, has been acquitted by the Silver Magistrates Court. Sharma appeared in the Silver Magistrates Court this morning. He was charged with 13 counts of indecently annoying a person under Section 213 of the Crimes Act. The defense today made an application for the charges to be dismissed as they were in contravention of Section 1872 of the Crimes Act, which requires a complaint relating to a summary offense which has a penalty of maximum of 12 months or less to be complained of or a police report lodged within 12 months from the date of the alleged offense. The offense complained of in this case dated back to 2018 and 2019. The magistrate agreed with the application made by the defense and upheld the legal submissions. The state lawyer then advised they were withdrawing the charges and agreed with the submissions by the defense. An oral application was made by the state and Sharma was acquitted of all charges. As of yesterday, 335,305 adults in Fiji have received their first dose of the vaccine and 59,574 have received their second dose. Permanent Secretary for Health Dr. James Fong says this means that 57% of the target population has received at least one dose and 10.2% are now fully vaccinated nationwide. Dr. Fong adds that Fiji now has two drive through vaccination centers within the Suva Nosori Corridor. The drive through centers are at Albert Park in Suva and the Fiji National University Nasinu campus. 
Dr. Fong explains that these drive-through vaccination centers are open until 5.30 p.m. He adds that the Ministry of Health is working on exploring possible venues across the country to establish more drive-through vaccination sites. Fourteen people were arrested for breach of health and curfew restrictions over the last 24 hours. Out of 14 reports, eight involved juveniles under the age of 18 years. Four juveniles were arrested along Nakasi Road for failing to wear a mask. Four juveniles aged 15 and 16 years were arrested for social gathering as they were found drinking alcohol at a school compound in Marere. The Western and Eastern Divisions recorded five cases each, while the Southern Division recorded four cases. Five reports were for breach of curfew, four for social gathering breach, four for failure to wear a mask, and one for breach of 50% PSV MOH regulations. Acting Police Commissioner Rusiate Tundravu says although they have registered a decrease in the number of reports, they are aware that there are breaches. The Fiji Police Force is urging members of the public to report such breaches by calling 917 or the Divisional Command Centers. Tundravu is also urging members of the public to call 917 or the Divisional Command Center if they want to report any breach happening in their communities. And to our latest COVID-19 update. Fiji has recorded 721 new cases of COVID-19 for the period ending 8 a.m. yesterday. There were also six deaths. Fiji has recorded 8,591 cases since April of this year, with a total of 8,661 cases since the first case was reported in March last year. There are now 7,138 active cases in isolation with 1,456 recoveries in total. The COVID-19 death toll now stands at 48. Cloudy periods with a few showers over the eastern parts and interior of the larger islands, Viti Levu, Vonua Levu, Ovalau, Tavioni and Kandavu. Elsewhere, mainly fine, cool at night. That's FBC News Now. Join us for our one hour major bulletin at 7 p.m. And be sure to download the FBC app to access the latest in news, sports and live radio broadcasts from any of our six FBC radio stations. Stay safe and good afternoon.